There is a 14-mile bike path that runs along the Orange Line. The bike path meets up with the busway at Chandler and Ethel and is joined by an 8-mile pedestrian path and continues to Balboa and Victory. The bike path then leaves the busway at Balboa and Victory to travel through Balboa Park. It rejoins the busway at White Oak and continues to Varial. There are bike lockers at each station which can be rented for a monthly fee. The Metro Orange Line brings a much needed shortcut to the San Fernando Valley. But please, do not shortcut your safety. Pedestrians, bicyclists, and motorists must pay extra attention to all traffic signs and signals when approaching the Orange Line intersections. Never drive on the transit way, never stop in a keep clear zone, and always stop at red lights. Don't shortcut your safety and the safety of others. The Orange Line has been an extraordinary success for the San Fernando Valley. The MTA and the Department of Transportation have been putting in safety measures to ensure that traveling along the Orange Line is a safe trip. But we'd like you to do your part. We'd like you to make sure that you're obeying the laws all around the 36 intersections across the San Fernando Valley. We look forward to the Orange Line continuing to be a success with over 16,000 people who are taking the Orange Line every single day. Let's work together to make sure that we drive safely and we travel safely in the San Fernando Valley. My name is Deputy Cobos. I'm a Deputy Sheriff with the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department, and I'm here to discuss some of the safety concerns that have arisen since the Metro Orange Line has opened. It's very important that people pay special attention to all the lights and signs in this general area, specifically the red lights, and the limit lines. It's very important that you stop at the red light and the limit line in order to avoid a collision with the orange line bus. At the North Hollywood station, Patrons push a button at the mid-block intersection to cross the street to either the orange line or the red line. The North Hollywood station has 915 parking spots. There are two entrances. One is on Chandler, south of Tahunga. The second entrance is on Cumston Street, east of Tahunga. The Laurel Canyon Station is located at Laurel Canyon and Chandler. This is a very busy intersection, and we ask that as you approach the busway, you make sure that you can stop when the light turns red. We also need you to obey the traffic signals when you're making a left across the busway. There are flashing bus signs that tell you the bus is approaching the intersection. The Valley College Station is located at Burbank Boulevard and Fulton Avenue intersection. At Burbank Fulton, Burbank is running east-west, Fulton is running north-south. The busway bisects the intersection at an angle. The most important thing to remember is when you travel north on Fulton, you can't turn right onto Burbank until the light is green. We also want you to be careful when you turn right going south on Fulton. Please be cautious as you approach the busway so that you can safely stop when the light turns red. And never run a red light. We've seen many joggers, bicyclists, people with their families actually walking on the busway. There is a designated bike path, pedestrian path, for you to use. The Woodman Station is located at Oxnard Street and Buffalo. 
When you travel down Oxnard Street, make sure that you slow down and are able to safely stop if the light turns red. Also, if you are making a right turn from Buffalo onto Oxnard, you must wait until the light turns green. At this station, the busway cuts diagonally across the intersection. When exiting Buffalo Avenue or pulling out from the flower shop parking lot, you are very close to the busway. Please pay attention and proceed cautiously. Please slow down when you get to the Metro Orange Line. Pay attention to all the street signs and the street lights. Look both ways. Make sure that there is not a bus in the path. The busway is exactly that, for buses only, not for regular vehicular traffic. Please do not turn onto the busway as the busway is designated for the buses and metro vehicles only. The Balboa station is located at Balboa and Victory intersection. It's very important that drivers traveling south and north on Balboa slow down as they approach the busway so that they can stop safely if the light turns red. The Metroliner bus operators need your help to safely cross the intersections. If you're at the Balboa station and you want to cross the street, you'll notice that there are markers keeping you from doing that. You must go to the end of the block to cross the street safely. If you visit the Encino office park, you must use extreme caution when exiting their parking lot because you're right against the busway. The Reseda station is located at Reseda Boulevard and Oxnard Street. Drivers traveling east on Oxnard who want to make a left turn onto Reseda Boulevard need to make sure that they stop here if the light is red. If the Metroliner is passing through the Reseda intersection, this light will turn red to keep you out of the busway. This is a very important signal to observe and obey. If you run this red light, you could have a serious collision with the Metroliner. This is also the case for drivers traveling west on Oxnard who want to make a right turn onto Reseda. If you make a right turn from Oxnard onto Reseda, you always need to wait behind the limit line when the light is red. Drivers traveling south on Reseda need to keep this area clear and make sure that they stop at the limit line when the lights are red. Tampa Station is located at Tampa Avenue and Topham Street. At this station, drivers traveling west on Topham need to make sure that they do not turn right when the arrow is red. If you make a right turn when the light is red, you could run right into the Metroliner as it passes through the Tampa intersection. Drivers also need to make sure that they stop at the way here line and do not run red lights on Tampa. Pierce College Station is located at Winnetka Avenue and Victory Boulevard. This is a very straightforward station to navigate. Please do not run the red light at Winnetka. And pedestrians, make sure you use the crosswalk when the light says it's safe to do so. The DeSoto station is located at the intersection of Victory Boulevard and DeSoto. At this intersection, we have cars driving west on Victory and mistakenly turning right or north onto DeSoto when the arrow is red. 
This is very dangerous because you could be making an illegal right turn and run into the Metro Liner as it passes through the intersection. What we're noticing is that people see the green arrow that allows you to go through the DeSoto intersection, but they don't notice that they can't turn right when the red arrow is on. You can only make a right turn onto DeSoto if the arrow is green. When the light is red, you always need to wait behind the limit line. It's also very important for pedestrians to adhere to the street signs and street lights. Please do not enter the crosswalk on a red flashing or solid hand. The Warner Center Station is the most westerly stop on the Orange Line. The Metroliner bus picks you up and drops you off here on Owens Mouth Avenue. When driving down Owens Mouth Avenue, please be careful when the Metroliner buses pull out into traffic. We also would ask people to use the crosswalk when crossing Owens Mouth Avenue to get to the mall. It's very important that people using the pedestrian or bike path make sure that they look both ways before they cross the busway or the streets near the orange line. Please obey all traffic signals and look both ways before you cross any street. At Ethel Street, always use the crosswalks on the east and north side of the busway. When approaching a sound wall, always stop and look both ways before crossing the busway. Be sure to obey no turn and do not enter signs. We care about the public safety. Please take an extra few moments to pay attention to all the lights and the signs in the general area of the Metro Orange Line. It only takes a second to cause an accident. At each Orange Line station, you'll find a ticket vending machine. Choose the fare you want, insert your money and take the ticket, but be sure to keep the ticket with you since the sheriffs do make spot checks. Each station has a public assistance emergency call box. Press the red button and you will be connected with Bus Operations Control Center. Each station has a video camera to record activity on the platform. Each station has a public telephone. Each station has a VMS machine that shows when the next bus will arrive. It can also show emergency information and any delays in service. There is no eating, drinking, or smoking on Metro buses or on the platforms. When riding the Orange Line, it is important to certainly remain behind the safety line and to remember that the bus will stop at every station, and so there's no need to try and flag the bus down buses will be running approximately every five minutes during rush hour and non-rush hour between every 10 to 12 minutes. As the Orange Line travels through the valley, it crosses 36 intersections. Each intersection that the Metroliner bus passes has the potential for a collision with a car if the driver runs a red light. People driving cars must be ready to safely stop at all intersections on the Orange Line. It is just as important that drivers obey the traffic signals at smaller intersections like Kester and Hazeltine. You need to be aware of the signals at every intersection. People driving south on Mason need to stop at the limit line if the light is red. This red light keeps you from crossing the busway when the Metro Liner is approaching the intersection. If this light is red, you need to stop here. Some drivers don't notice this light and only see the light on victory. They end up running the red light and putting themselves, their passengers, and the people on the Metro Liner in danger. Sometimes people will stop at the red light, then creep across the busway so they can make a left turn onto victory. This is dangerous, it's illegal, and the fine for doing so is over $300.